Hi, I'm Sung Woo Shin. I'm going to give a 5-minute summary of our recent work on dielectric tensor tomography. What we have done is to develop a direct imaging modality of 3D optical anisotropy. In optically isotropic medium, refraction of light is determined by refractive index and incident angle as shown in Snell's law. However, in anisotropic medium, we should additionally consider the polarization of light and incident angle with respect to the direction of optic axis. There are various important three-dimensional anisotropic structures ranging from soft matter physics, cell and tissue biology to industrial applications. However, it has been limited for characterizing inhomogeneous distribution in 3D structures due to the lack of theory and direct imaging modality for 3D anisotropy. The reason for the lack of the theory is due to the property of dielectric tensor. The dielectric tensor mathematically characterizes optical anisotropy by showing the linear transform from the external E field to the displacement vector. It also directly provides the principal refractive indices as well as the direction of optic axis by diagonalization. Diffraction of light is governed by a vectorial wave equation and its solution is shown on the right side. The F tensor, called a scattering potential tensor, includes the dielectric tensor. Pi vector shows polarization vector of illumination and Psi vector denotes a measured light wave. To obtain 3D anisotropy, one should decouple the F tensor and Pi vector. The dielectric tensor has three basis vectors, so does the F tensor. However, the number of the orthogonal polarization of light is only two, which makes the underdetermined problem. I solved the problem by slightly tilting the instant angle. The slight tilt provides an additional orthogonal polarization. Although the imaged dielectric tensor or the scattered fields are dependent on the instant angle, the Fourier differentiation theorem enables to extract the same tensor for the instant angle. Then the underdetermined problem becomes the determined problem and we can solve it. So, by inversely solving the vectorial wave equation, I derive the analytical solution. It enables to reconstruct the 3D dielectric tensor distribution. And by diagonalizing the dielectric tensor tomograms, 3D distribution of the principal refractive indices and the directors can be obtained. My method was experimentally demonstrated using an optical setup based on the Mausender interferometry. The fast and robust illumination beam control is achieved by a digital micrometer device or DMD. A liquid crystal retarder or LCR allows to control the polarization of illumination. Then, diffracted fields from sample are measured, relying on their polarization using two polarizers and image sensors. Using the method, the 3D director distributions of liquid crystal network film is successfully reconstructed including topological defects. To the best of our knowledge, it was the first experimental research of direct imaging of directors in the LC network film. Also, to demonstrate the capability of fast 3D imaging, I measure the non-equilibrium dynamics of LC drumlets. The contours are the isosurfaces of refractive index. By heating or cooling the environment of drumlets, annihilation, nucleation, and merge of drumlets were observed with the time interval of 0.84 seconds. To sum up, I have recently developed a direct imaging method for 3D anisotropy, and the method provides 3D distribution of principal RIs and optic axis in a label-free manner. And due to the capability of label-free and fast measurement, 
I believe the present method would be one of powerful tools for the study of 3D dynamics. Thank you so much for listening.